Hey y'all, this is Aunt Pruitt here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. This is another video highlight from the wonderful world of smartphone photography. I appreciate you watching. What I want to point out today is one of our trusty photography editors. The thing is, this is something that you can do right on your smartphone. You don't have to do it on the computer every time. And you don't necessarily have to use your stock photography editor on your smartphone. The app that I'm talking about is called Snapseed. It's both on iOS and on Android. I'm not sure about the Windows phone platform, but I'll double check. Either way, I'll put some links in the bottom of this video so you can get to the app, you know, from your applicable app store. But what I want to do now is just go through and show you some of the screens inside of Snapseed so you can see just how powerful this little app is for editing one of your photos. Check it out. Okay, I want to show you guys the Snapseed app here on my Android device, the HTC One Max. Now, I'm using a screen recorder here to do this video, so you might see my little mouse move around here and there. Um, but most of the time, this is going to be a touch that you <laughs> might not even see. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the app there, Snapseed. Um, also, there's a little bit of a lag, so I'm going to try to compensate for that as best that I can. It's about a two or three second lag, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, the app is open, and I want to find one of the shots I took uh, here recently and do a little touch up on it. So I just click on this little camera app up there and choose a photo. So, of course, I go to my gallery, and I like this one right here. I like that one. So, of course, it opens up, and you notice. Um, it has that long portrait mode. I don't necessarily like that, but Snapseed makes cropping simple, just like your standard stock editor. You just click the menu for crop and drag the menu however you see fit. Slide it down or just keep it steady like that. But I might slide it down just a hair. All right, and of course hit the check, it applies it. Fairly intuitive, right? But you also have filters in here, so if I want to add a black and white filter, it automatically changes it to black and white. So you can, once you're in there, you can adjust the filters by tapping on the extra menus like that. And just change. If it's black and white, I like to adjust the contrast. You see how that changes things? But I'm not going to keep it black and white. I'm going to take it off of that. I'd like to get a little more in depth with some of these um, editing options. So down here, again, you have all of these different little menus and options that you can play with, such as straighten it out right there and just drag it with your finger to straighten it to whatever angle you'd like for it to be. I think that's about right. Only about there. Okay or get a little more in depth regarding the color and so forth. So you got brightness, you have warmth, and you have saturation, contrast, everything photographers love to touch up. Of course, change the contrast some, change the brightness a little bit. And how about give it a little bit of warmth and watch how that changes it up a little bit more see that all right and then of course just confirm your changes by clicking the little checks down there and then when you're done with the photo you just click this download button here to save it and if you want to share it to google plus you have the nice little g right there to share it to google plus but there's also the share option right here to let you share it to other services such as Twitter or Instagram or what have you. You know, you just scroll through it and there they are. So that's Snapseed from the folks over at Nick Software. You can get it on, again, your Android device or your iOS device. And if you have a Windows phone, I'm pretty sure you can get it on there too, considering they have a really nice camera on that Lumia 920. But um, be sure to check them out and see what you can do with your photographs as far as the editing and touch up and so forth. Thank you for watching this video today and uh, be sure to click the like button and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. 
and be sure to come back and check out more content here on anewdomain.tv as well as the smartphone-photographers.com website. It's right there on the screen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.